and he was Wyoming East state champion, Wyoming East girls shooter, and a blanket chip by Hannah. You're going into your senior year, you've been at this a long time. How, how rewarding was the last year to walk off the, your last game as, as a state champion for this program? Uh, it was huge because we want to send uh, Sky and Sarah out with a win, and we had worked so hard for that. And uh, everybody thought that, you know, we couldn't do that. We couldn't win a state championship after Jazz and them left, so we kind of had a lot to prove. Why do you think that was? I mean, did, did people just doubt you? Uh, at a wrong time. I think most of the people thought Wyoming East, Wyoming East going to have a pretty decent team. Did uh, people just write you off too soon after Jazz and uh, those guys left, Emily? Yeah, I think they just kind of underestimated how hard we still worked and all that. Um, like that class has always been known for their talent. Like they're just unreal. But um, we work hard, you know, hard work beats talent. So we're hard workers. That's what we do around here. What about this? This year is going to be probably not when you walked off the Civic Center floor. You thought you might have been. I think everybody thought this would be a different team out here practicing today. It's it's not that way. You know, Abby got hurt. Um, Deja transferred to Woodrow. Uh, you've got um, Sky and Sarah. Obviously, they're going to be gone anyway. But uh, uh, you got two or three really good players that aren't going to be here now. How is this team different? Well, you know, unexpected things happen in life. You just kind of got to take it and roll with it and make the best out of it. But, I mean, we're going to be small this year for the most part, but we're working really hard and we're going to be quick on the perimeter. And I think I think we'll be all right. Do you consider yourself a leader on this team? Um, I think Kaylee Van is probably another leader. Are you one of the leaders of this team? I mean, you're the senior. You're the one that's been here with everyone. Uh, you played on that really good team um, when you were a freshman. Do you consider yourself one of the leaders here? Yeah, I'm trying to be a good uh, role model for the younger ones and teach them all I can before I leave. This is my last year, and I just want to make the most of it. You've gone through illness. You've gone through an accident. Um, yet here you are practicing on, for, uh, you know, getting going through the summer workout. Do you consider yourself lucky in that regard, too? Because, um, you know, a lot of people were concerned when you had the illness. People were concerned when you had um, the accident here on at the school. Um, do you consider yourself lucky? Uh, maybe not lucky, but super blessed for sure. Uh, I kind of knew if I just pushed through the illness that eventually I'd be all right. Things would work out, but the car wreck was probably, it's, it's been different. I've never really dealt with something like that, so uh, it's, it was different. Definitely blessed, though. Yeah. Do you, what, what aspects of your game do you want to improve to make this team um, all it can be this year? Especially, uh, I would assume now that your role is going to have to pick up even more than you thought it would uh, when you walked off the court in Charleston, you know, three months ago. What, uh, what do you have to do now, do you think, to make this team all it can be? Uh, I think we'll have to work on my ball handling a little bit more and be more of like help out front and stuff like that. Um, always working on my shot, get a quicker release. That's uh, main focus because, you know, you can never put in too many reps. And um, working on my defense and my on-ball guard and stuff like that. What did, what did you guys do as a team to try to lift um, Abby Russell Spears after she suffered a knee injury? I mean, that's, um, you know, you've gone, God knows you've gone through your, your own um, medical situations. What did you do, and uh, being a person who's suffered some injuries, what did you, you want to do or say to Abby to make her uh, realize she's still a part of the team? Um, I just told her, you know, just come here every day. I mean, like, we're not going to counter out of anything. We all, you know, I mean, we'll take her with her wherever we go. We'll figure out a way to get her there. Uh, I just told her, you know, injuries don't pick people. It's just part of the game. And as long as she sticks in there, she's going to be all right. Do you still consider yourself shooter, a shooter? I mean, someone who could knock down the threes. I mean, you look at your state tournament, the state championship game, you had 11 and 10. I mean, 10 rebounds is uh, the mark of a really good post player. And I know you played some, probably played out of position the last year or two. Do you still consider yourself a person that's going to knock down those threes? And is that something you're going to try to recapture this year? I mean, yeah, it's, it's definitely something I'm still working on. And it's a part of my game. It makes it, it, makes it nice because I'm, I'm like a stretch four. I can play down low and then I'll pull out and shoot the three when it's open. So, I mean, I'm just going to do whatever's needed to get the win at the end of the day, help my team. So, One of the few seniors on this team, how is your um, – you look back on your career, obviously a state championship would be uh, number one. But what, what's it been like for you going through this program? 
uh, have these girls with you when you were down and, and be a person who's there for your teammates when they're down? It's just really showed me like how much sports can have an impact on your life. Like it's not just a team, it's a family. And like I wouldn't want to go through life with anybody else. I mean, those girls out there are my sisters and uh, we care about each other. Like uh, we're family, so it means a lot to me. Did you, after winning the state championship, did you take a few minutes to reflect on what the team you thought was coming back and what your chances were, weighed against what you think your chances are now? Are they the same or is it different? Uh, I mean, I think at the end of the day, as long as we keep working hard and keep pushing, we're going to be all right. I mean, there's always a chance. I'm not counting us out of anything. A lot of people count us out because, you know, it's just how it is, but that's all right. I like having the pressure on my back and stuff like that, being an underdog. Have you, but having gone through that before where you were the underdog, maybe oh, yeah. even as early as last year, yeah. same thing? Uh, well, I mean, going into the state tournament, we was ranked number two against Parkersburg Catholic, and we kind of knew, like, I mean, they're a great team and stuff, but we knew that we could beat them, and, well, we kept work, working hard, and it happened. Every team you beat last year, you beat by double figures. Does that uh, kind of show how deep this program is? Yeah, I think it shows how deep we can play off the bench and stuff and just how hard we work and, like, our team chemistry. I think it shows a lot just how much work we put into it. Would you uh, – do you feel pretty confident for a uh, – at least the opportunity to uh, repeat? I, yeah. I mean, I'm confident in my team. I'm not going to count us out in anything. So, I think it's a possibility for sure. All right. Hey, Anna, I appreciate it, and I'm sure we'll be talking about this season. All right. Thank you.